gotta have discipline. And then you can do whatever you want. That's what karate teach me. That's my philosophy. Karate is in my blood. Rafael is a very tough opponent, but I don't care, man. Doesn't matter who they're gonna put in front of me. I have to run over. I wanna be a champion. I want the title. When I had my last Vinicio. loss in 2017, Vinicio, he texted me and said, I believe you are doing something wrong. What makes you different is your karate. That's made you a world champion. My work here is try to make Leo to do karate as karate must be, you know, perfect. I want to be world champion again because when I fought Misasi, I dominated him in five rounds. At the end of the fight, he almost tapped. He almost tapped. Whenever he wants, I'll be here. Esse instinto de, de finalizar é como, o tuba, é como se o tubarão sentisse o cheiro de sangue. Ele vai atrás. Olha, tem lutas que são mais importantes do que uma, uma disputa de cinturão. Para mim, ela está sendo mais importante do que é, disputar um cinturão. Não só pela, pelo evento, mas sim por quem ele é. Ele tem a história dele no MMA. Eu também tenho a minha história. Pode ser que ele dele esteja terminando, pode ser que a minha esteja começando agora, a partir dessa luta. Então, ela tem um significado muito, muito importante mesmo, porque as pessoas vão ver, vão começar a enxergar o Rafael com os outros olhos. I actually rescued him a few months ago, right after my last fight, right after the Pachanga fight. So we went to the Humane Society, and what actually drew us to Cope was that he was so sad looking. His name was Roy at, at the Humane Society, but we, we changed it to Cope, which is Hawaiian for coffee. He has this really creepy smile he likes to do. Hey, creepy smile, babes. You know, I actually take him to the gym with me a lot. I take him with me to my training sessions. I just tie him up by the cage and he watches. And it's really cute because um, he will start barking and getting crazy, like when we're rolling. And so even if I'm in an advantageous position where I'm like, don't worry, Kope, I have an arm bar in, it's fine. Like, he's still like, Aah! like, you know, trying to protect his mom. I also think too, that he's the reason why my weight's really good right now, because I'm forced to take him out like three times a day and walk around. Look, there, there it is. There's that creepy smile. <laughs> You have a dog that farts like a freaking crazy guy. <laughs> Damn. He just looks like Yoda. Who is Yoda? He's Yoda in Star Wars. You don't know what Yoda is? No. Don't you think he's looking like that? He's Which forced, bulldog doesn't fart? He's foresight out of this universe, bro. I'm talking about His like, tongue is always sticking out. He's got crazy eyes. He's the best dog ever. It's super hard to coach a partner, super. 
avoid emotion. This is what you're gonna do, boom, 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 and this is how we're gonna win. That's how I'm seeing it. What is Valerie bringing to this fight against the Malay? She's on the rise, and we gotta stop that, you know? You know, you're really gonna have to knock me out and knock me down until my, my body stops functioning. And I realize that not every fighters are like this. I know I'm gonna get punched in the face and there's something that is not, this is not gonna stop me. This is the fight that I wanted to have because I wanna fight for the belt. She's the girl to beat. We call it mana in Hawaii. Mana is like energy. I know that the entire arena is gonna get up on their feet and <laughs> there's gonna be tears, there's gonna be so much pride, and there's gonna be so much mana when they see me come out. I would not be a world champion without my team here at Sun Plan San Diego. It was fate that brought me here, that made me step through those doors. We want you to become an adult here. I want you to become a dog mom. <laughs> my whole life now has changed because of that word, champion. Valley Letourneau, she is actually one of the first female fighters that I've ever watched. It's like that saying goes, like, keep training until your heroes become your opponents. To be considered as part of history as a Hawaiian fighter, as a female Hawaiian fighter, is just surreal, super surreal. Chicken skin, that's what we say in the islands, like super chicken skin. Sometimes he tries to do some crazy thing, but I, I control him a lot. Like I control the fight, you know, have to control the guy. No, no, gonna go to this way, no, a little bit more here, then have to be my way. Now, everything's good, ready, ready for finish my training camp. Handsome, that's what I want.